Good evening. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to go into the results of field day. I had a lot of wonderful graphics and everything made up. And yeah, it's the idiot behind the keyboard. I lost my presentation about a half hour before we went into the board meeting. So I'm going to bore you with my face and tell you what the numbers are. So here we go. Um, Anybody want to take a guess, or some of you might already heard, anybody want to take a guess at how many people came to field day this year? 166. Close. I did a recount. 164. And of 164 people that came to field day over the three days, 47 of those were guests. And these were the people that signed in. So we had 47 guests. And the number of youth that we submitted, uh, I counted nine. So we had nine people uh, in the youth category. And on the go to get on the air, we had five people between the ages of six and 13 take part on the go to station for making their contacts. We had nine people make their first contact at field day. So uh, the first contact either uh, in, uh, excuse me, I should kind of qualify that. Uh, of those nine people, uh, four of those people, it was the first time they made an HF contact. So we had people making their first contacts ever. And then we had four people, the first time they ever made an HF contact. Um, let's see. So let's, let's go through, down through the numbers here. Uh, we... Uh, we did very good on our bonus points. And I just, I, that credit goes to pre-planning. So I just want to thank everybody that took part in pre-planning. We, we missed uh, very few bonus points. The bonus point that we missed was inviting a elected official to visit us. And I think that could be something we could do in the future. But other than that, we, uh, we got our emergency power uh, thank you very uh, much, uh, Scott, WA6YNE, for the media publicity. Uh, public location, we did a great public information table. Thank you very much, uh, WA8 MPA Jim, for putting that together. We sent a formal message uh, to the ARL, uh, to our section manager, Carol, and I uh, want to thank uh, Amir, uh, N6ADL, for uh, helping me with that. We copied the W1AW field day message. And when I say we, there, there really was one person responsible for this with a backup. And this is going to deserve an applause. Imagine copying three paragraphs of real English sentences, not, a, not an exchange on CW. So I, I just want to say there is somebody out there, they deserve so much more than what we're giving them to recognize this effort. But we are going to be awarding a special field day pin for an incredible accomplishment. And please join me in congratulating uh, WB6POT Peter for three paragraphs of sentence copy. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Well, wow. well done. Maybe. So, and then of course, assisting him uh, was Wayne W6DT and Wayne really says, oh, I didn't really do anything, but he, he did the check and uh, that's, uh, that's just as important. So uh, I just want to say guys, tremendous job. You know, when I asked them, Hey, could you copy? Because we're not going to have anybody up and ready to do ready. And we, the bands, we weren't really sure if we were going to be able to copy it. And they sat down and not only did they copy it, but we were having, getting ready for barbecue. Everybody was excited about tri-tip chicken and ice cream. So they kept having to go shh, shh, shh. And so anyway, I just think that is an incredible feat. But you know, the thing is, they gave us a hundred points for that. I think it's worth a million points, but anyway. So uh, we're, we're glad to give them the pen and recognition. So thank you very much, Peter. Peter, turn on your microphone. How did you do it, man? 
<laughs> it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, a little bit nervous. Uh, I had just finished CW Op, so I was uh, semi prepared, but uh, appreciate the opportunity and I had a lot of fun at Field Day. Well, it was great having you there. Thank you so much. And uh, wow, that I mean, a signal report is one thing, uh, but uh, three paragraphs. All right. Uh, also, we, uh, we sent 10 uh, formal messages, and quite a few of you on here tonight got a copy of that formal message, thanking you for being part of Field Day. That, and then we also ran Natural Power for some QSOs, so we got the 100 points on that. Our, uh, uh, we also ran the GOTA station was 100% uh, battery power with solar, and want to thank K6ABJ for running the GOTA station. Uh, we also had a site visit uh, by a served agency that got us 100 points. Educational activity. How many of you enjoyed Scott, KK7AR's presentation? Wow. It was anybody who missed that. Scott talked about everything about the history of the area to uh, uh, show, showed us a film camera that was uh, one, uh, one of the cameras that was used for uh, filming the uh, Hindenburg as it came down, and then also uh, showed us a, uh, a uh, signaling system from the railroad. And uh, somehow we tied it all together, and it was an awesome presentation. Uh, also, youth particip participation, I talked about that earlier. We got our uh, points for that. Safety officer, thank you so much, Graydon, um, uh, uh, KC6SLE. Uh, really appreciate the effort you put into, uh, into the safety uh, and making sure that everything was lined up for that and for submitting uh, that documentation. So thank you very much. That was a lot of work. Also, social media, a lot of you guys posted up and, uh, and we captured that and, uh, and uh, that got us 100 points. And then 50 points for submitting this via the internet. Wow. So here we go. Um, I thought this was really interesting and the graphic showed it very well. So if I could describe this graphic to you, this is how the graphic went. It was a slow build creating suspense. We had 252 CW contacts during field day. We had 141 digital contacts and we had 504 phone contacts. Hey, well, those, those of you who know how this thing scores sees where this might be going. Dennis. Yeah, I was just curious. Doesn't the CW contacts I make go into that score? Well, we have a on location score and then we will okay. have an aggregated club score. <laughs> okay. And so, yeah, you're going to, uh, Dennis, go ahead and share. Go ahead. Toot your horn. How many CW contacts did you make? I, I just, I was kind of slacking. I made 510. <laughs> oh my. Okay, everybody open up your mic and just, whoa. Whoa. Oh. Oh. whoa. Well done, wow. Dennis. <laughs> Way to go, Dennis. And it was kind of funny. I was looking at our scores as we come in. And I go, boy, typically the CW contacts and the voice contacts are so close. Why were we off this year? And everybody goes, Dennis wasn't here. Earl wasn't here. And you know, they gave out the list of all you guys who are the CW Kings. And I know you, you're submitting these on your own. So thank you for contributing to the club, but we missed you at field day up, on, up at Georgetown. So uh, here we go. CW Contacts uh, two, uh, 252, double that. What do you think it comes up to? 504. Do you remember what the phone contacts were that count for one each? Yeah. 504. So this year, the voice and the CW came up equal score. We didn't, we didn't mess with the books, come up with that one. So uh, as far as total points, CW and phone were equal. Uh, digital came up with 141 contacts for, uh, uh, with a doubler. Uh, so 282 uh, total points. This comes up with a uh, total um, points of 1290, a claim score uh, combined with our bonus of 2580. 
Now you're kind of wondering what bands were active. Well, we didn't use 160 and I kind of go, well, we missed that opportunity. There were a couple people probably hanging out there. Um, we, uh, we made 92 contacts on uh, uh, CW on 80 meters, 100 contacts on, uh, let's see, let me double check this. 92 contacts, uh, CW, uh, phone, 15 contacts, and zero on, on digital on 80 meters. 40 meters was the active band this time. 45 CW contacts, 201 phone contacts, 108 digital. 20 meters, no CW, 179 phone, and 29 digital. 15 meters, 115 CW, four phone, and one digital. Six meters was three phone, three digital. Two meters, 64 phone. Uh, four, uh, 220 was five phone, and uh, 440 was six phone. As I looked at this, I realized this year we made a decision not to have a band captain. And I think that's where we got into trouble because everybody took their own station in a direction and got locked into it. Instead of moving around to what bands were active, and I'm just gonna say Al, N-I-2-U, who was always out there directing us, hey, this band should be open now. I think a, a lesson learned for me was that the importance of a band captain kind of doing an oversight on the different stations. Um, good numbers, but I think we could have really, uh, really uh, spread out and probably took advantage of open band conditions. Um, of course, uh, people kind of want to know probably who made the most contacts. Well, W6 DT Wayne made 149 contacts. Uh, KM6 BJK, hey, there's a, there's a new one. Derek, congratulations. You were number two with 115 contacts. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had way too much fun. Excellent. Uh, third place. Uh, now, I'm just going to remind you, you probably were part of the team. You might have been logging. You might have been, uh, you know, helping sort out the calls. But this is who was signed in as the operator. Uh, KM6 JBI Herb, uh, third place with 103. Uh, KE6 REJ. There's another person that's uh, on tonight. Congratulations. Uh, 83 contacts. Uh, WB6 POT, Peter, 79 contacts. But I'm going to ask you, Peter, how many contacts did you make when you got home? I actually made two, one oh. to W6EK and one to WU6X, and that made me very happy. So, hey, Brian, <laughs> one, one quick comment. Um, yes. I agree we need a band uh, captain, but you, you noticed that there were no CW contacts made on 20 meters, and that had to do, we, we were desperate. We wanted so badly to get on 20 because 15 was basically dead, and we spent the entire day on 15 just calling yeah. CQ and getting very few answers. Um, but what we, we found out um, is even at 10 watts, the CW station was obliterating the digital station, so we couldn't. And I think that you know is partially maybe antenna selection as well as you know because we had antenna separated out far enough and we weren't using that and i think once again that's where a band captain probably could assist right right but yeah i i agree that uh you know there were people that just kind of parked on a band and there were opportunities for more contacts i agree we left a lot of things on the table Uh, let's see, uh, uh, let's see, uh, KD6HOF with 53, AI6US, yes, I did more than cook, I got 50 contacts, I got an hour and a half on the radio one morning, that was fun, N6ADL, I'm going to say thank you so much, Amir, uh, you were on the bonus VHF station and got 42 contacts on the bonus station, and uh, I think that's one of, you know, that's a very good showing for a, a bonus station. WA6YNE 38, KC6SLE, uh, Graydon uh, 24 contacts 
I think that was primarily on the VHF station as well. KM6MJB 18, uh, KM6DDL 16, KM6RGO, there you go, Jeff, 15. And then uh, let's see, we kind of go down, uh, let's see, then uh, KM6CCC, I know you're here, Chris, so uh, 14. And then we just kind of work down from there. So that's kind of how we were distributed around. Um, I think we uh, you know, learned some valuable lessons. This has been submitted. Um, I, I do want to share that the, uh, the GOTA station, we had, we had uh, five, six people total uh, running the GOTA station. And these were first contacts for them. And uh, GOTA we, it was something that we weren't thinking we were going to do. But then when we saw so many youth showing up up there, we, we knew that we had to provide them something. And really glad that we did because they had a great experience hanging out over there with, uh, with Aaron and uh, getting on the air. So uh, lesson learned on my part about GOTA. Let's see, um, that's kind of it on our submission. And uh, then of course, we're gonna do a drawing for the winner of the HT. Uh, any comments so far? I wanted to kind of talk about just briefly. Um, did what did what can we do better next year? Those of you attended field day and you saw something. Is there something that we could do better next year? A uh, quick question, Brian. Uh, how does this compare? I haven't been involved in this club and field day before, but how does this compare to years past? I did not do that breakdown. Dennis, I know in the past you've done our submissions. Uh, do you have any just uh, kind of uh, approximate um, how this compares to years past? I, I think, you know, I'm thinking off the top of my head. I mean, I could, we've got a, a posted in groups IO, but I'm, it sounds like we're pretty similar to at least a single year past. I don't know, two years ago, but. Um, I think that we're, I don't think we've broken any records, let's put it that way. I can go take a quick look, but I am curious, Brian, just a quick question. I yep. thought that um, they, the ARRL had lifted the requirement for everybody to be in the, you know, the, in the, a circle so that remote sites could participate. Well, um, as an aggregated score, so when uh, each one of us uh, uh, who operated from our home submits a score uh, uh, to the ARL, we put a club affiliation of Sierra Foothills ARC as our affiliated club. Okay, and that, yeah. is, that is totaled separately from the site, uh, the W6EK club station. So when they post our score in, in QST though, it'll be the, cum the cumulative score, correct? There will be two. There will be one for the club station and then there will be a uh, aggregated club score. Oh, okay. Well, interesting. Thanks. Now, maybe quickly before we move into what can we do better next year, uh, maybe uh, who operated from home? I know Dennis, you operated portable. Uh, who else uh, and uh, who else operated portable or, or from your home? Uh, in this case, it's GPV. Yeah, it's, uh, I think I emailed you, uh, Brian, uh, uh -huh. my entry. I think I had something like about 850 points to Excellent. Uh, contribute. Excellent. And did you have a good time? Oh, yes. Uh, I was at uh, home doing it, of course. Uh, and I was uh, getting busy uh, for the 4th of July parade as I shared that for the uh, community here. Right. Unfortunately, the club didn't have a float in the parade, but we had a great parade. Okay. Well, maybe that's something we need to work on next year. Yes, it's a good opportunity to uh, advertise. There we go. We can put a shack with antennas all over it. And... and uh, Kind of like mobile. that. And, and be mobile, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's our, there's our float for next year. There you Put go. some wheels on that thing. <laughs> Anyone else operate uh, from home and going to contribute to the club? Yeah, I had a bike, uh, 104 points. Excellent. Did, and did you have a good time? Oh, sure. And I had a great time uh, doing my, my 10 CW points there at the, at the field day site. Excellent and appreciate you coming up. You have the best of both worlds. 
Anyone else uh, operate from home or portable or mobile? All right, so here we are. Uh, we're kind of coming down off the sugar high and uh, we, we saw some things going on around us. A lot of things went off well. We, uh, we fed uh, uh, 45 people barbecue and uh, we, uh, we gave them uh, banana splits. Thank you very much, Peter, for coming up with that idea. We, uh, we did a hun over 100 breakfasts were served. Um, and the snack table was overflowing. It was incredible. Uh, so, you know, we're coming down. We had an opportunity to uh, set up antennas. Uh, you know, how did setup go? How did operation go? Is there anything we can do better? Anyone? Um, yeah, the, the CW table needs to be out on the outskirts so it's quieter. Move the CW table and you are not alone. I've heard that from a couple other people. So we'll put CW table on the outskirts of Tent City. All right. Anyone else? Really? It was, it was that good? <laughs> I know it was a fun time, but, uh, you hey, know, Brian? if anybody, yes. It's Fred. I showed up uh, late Saturday, right at about dark, and I was there for about a half an hour, and you walked up and said hello, and you looked so tired, so tired, and you said, I'm oh, glad to see you, but I'm going to bed, and it was just after dark, so I, my suggestion would be pace yourself, Brian. You, you worked really hard, put on a great event, and and you look so tired, I, I felt really sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Fred. Um, but just having you speak up, Fred, uh, I know we had some network issues. So I think uh, I could just throw out there that we have to harden our network uh, and just make sure that it is running 100%. Yeah, it, it was a great event, though. I didn't even operate. So I'd like to say that uh, there's a social aspect to showing up to field day. You get to see folks and, and talk to people and, and, you know, just move around from place to place and see the operation. I didn't operate one bit, but I had a great time anyway. <laughs> great to hear it. And we were glad to see you. All right. Anybody else have any good, uh, uh, just anything about field day that we could do better or you thought we did well? Hey, Brian, this is Herb, KM6 JBI. Go ahead, Herb. I I think having the logger at the dinner station was so much better because it with people talking and sh in like uh, with some of the other hams there I, and giving them because what I did is I would like switch over and let someone dry for a while. I and log. I, it, it still keeps. It's like a great team thing because everyone else has to log. I think that's was awesome. You know, that's my experience, and that's one of the things I loved about it. Just okay, to, so you're people saying to hang out. You're saying on the digital station, keep it a manual log? Yes. Okay. Because it makes a team rather than just a guy sitting there, huh? Exactly. Okay. I All like it. Okay. Great. Anyone else? So I have a what, was the, what was the total score? Um, the total score. Um, bonus claim, claim bonus score? and Bonus and QSO points. Okay, bonus is 1650, QSO is 1290, claim score 2580. Okay, because I did find, um, I did find, let's see, let me do a quick share here, I'll show you. Okay, this was 2019, uh, from 2012 to 2019. So 2019, we had 5,060. So I guess we did do better, right? Well, no, we, uh, we definitely came under that score for our claim score. So we are quite a ways down on claim score. So looking at, uh, could I see that just for a second? I'll just show oh, you. Okay, yeah, hang on. Let me find so this is the last time we were together. But of course, I think the aggregated score is really going to tell the truth about what we did, uh, you know, as a group. Yeah. Um, so the QSO points, uh, we were way off the count on the QSO points. 
uh, 12, 1290 on our QSO points. Okay. So way, way, you know, way under half of what we normally would, you know, even a, a third of what we've been doing in recent years. Yeah, 2016, I think that's when we did QRP, correct? So it was five times uh, our score, whatever the score was, I believe. That was the highest score we ever did total. Yep. But that was QRP, five watts. No, so I think, you know, we, we show that you know, we, I think a band captain certainly could have addressed some of these and kind of kept peace and uh, kind of the, the sharing thing and the identifying of the active group. So thank you, Dennis, for looking that up. Appreciate that. Uh, I got a, we, a comment. Got a couple. Yes, Chris. Um, I just wanted to say how much I appreciated Chip's sons being there and teaching me a little bit about uh, satellite communication. And uh, we downloaded some uh, photos from the International Space Station. I had never done that. And it was kind of on my to-do list, my, my list of goals for this year. Um, I think we may have uh, missed out on a multiplier by getting a contact through a satellite. Um, not an expert on that, but we didn't get a contact, but we did play around. And I just bring that up because I think um, in the future, it could be, a, it could be a, some added points for us. And also because I think that today's youth really understand satellite communication. They re, they, they're in tune with it. They know what's going on with SpaceX. And um, if we were to have something set up at field day that was focused on satellites, um, we might attract more, more young people. Thank you, Chris. I think this was the first year in multiple years that we haven't had uh, uh, people there. And, uh, you know, we're, we have to share with uh, Western states. And so the people that are mostly into the satellite, <laughs> but that's something that we need to do better at recruiting next year. Thank you, Chris. I, I have another comment. I was just going to say, if any, any of you ever have a chance to, to work any, any kind of a contest from the South, oh my gosh. I mean, I was running 100 watts with a piece of wire and a tree, and there are just so many active hams out here. I ran the whole time and I had big pileups and I just had a blast. It's probably the most, oh, I broke my personal record. So it was just a lot of fun. Just, uh, you know, a 64 foot wire in a tree and I uh, had a blast. It's a shame you're gonna have to put an asterisk be beside that high score and say you weren't in California. <laughs> <laughs> having well, a uh, there's, six there's call. something about there's something about having a six call in Foreland too. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes, but I did work Peter, which was awesome. I, I mean, uh, that was a great contact, Peter. Another comment? Oh uh, yeah, K six. Right, um, yeah, Bob. Ahead. And then her. I was just going to say, Dennis, having a six call in Foreland, they're probably like, hey, you sound like you're next door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Go ahead, Herb. Oh, yeah. Um, my wife, she did had an issue when it was coming in is uh, some, we need a little more signage, but better signage for uh, okay, like which way to turn and all that. That was the only issue. All right. I heard that from several people who into driving down the road quite a bit farther. So very good, thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, so one other thing is, you know, Jerry had mentioned, you know, when we were building this up and everything that this is, you know, a, a, gonna be a, a point in time where we, we recognize that we've come back out of the pandemic and came back and, and socialized together. And, uh, you know, that, that element of it was a, a success uh 100 i believe in this event i mean um just just the social social part of it was was a win so yeah i i agree um you know and i i you saw so many people instead of gathering around to work the radio they were talking <laughs> to each other and it, it was incredible it certainly was i anyone else All right, and of course you can offline with us at any time. You can give me a, 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 a ring or uh, anybody who was involved with field day or the board members. And so, you know, if there's something that you would like to talk about in a, in a more private setting, uh, feel free to reach out because we do want to make this better. I think we pulled off an incredible event. Uh, people uh, left with smiles on their face and uh, 
you know, it, it, it was great. We've heard a lot of people, unsolicited comments uh, about how much they enjoyed it. So uh, we did that right. Now we need to find the balance next year to get, uh, get the, uh, the numbers up, uh, you know. But remember, this isn't a contest. And uh, I think we've done some great uh, outreach into the community. You know, think about this. We had 47 guests visit us out in Georgetown. And uh, that, that, that's wonderful.